charging apps, nobody wants to use them and everyone would prefer an easier way to charge their electric car. Now there's an easy way to charge a non-Tesla electric car at Tesla Superchargers in New South Wales if you use one that has a sign like this saying it's subsidized by the New South Wales government. Let's see how it works. Please contribute. It really helps my independent, honest journalism. There's one catch to using these Tesla superchargers with a tap and pay enabled phone, bank or credit card. That's because you'll have to pay the maximum non-member rate for each kilowatt hour you use. Now, the only time I ever use Tesla superchargers is on long vacations when I'm driving hundreds and thousands of kilometers and I get a Tesla membership. See my video about that, which saves a lot of money using Tesla superchargers. However, if you've got this Tesla membership and you use tap and pay with your phone or bank card or credit card, you won't get that better price per kilowatt hour. You'll still have to use the app on your phone, the Tesla app, to be able to access the better rate for Tesla members, the same that Tesla car owners get. Be aware of that. About 60% of Tesla superchargers in Australia are open to all brands of electric cars like my MG4. But if you turn up to a supercharger location that's open access and it has big holes in the center of the supercharger, none of these will be tap and pay enabled. However, if you turn up to a Tesla supercharger location that's open access and it has big solid rectangular shaped chargers, you may be in luck. This is how you check if it's tap and pay enabled. What you're looking for on halfway up on the left hand side of the charger is a little screen. It'll have the price per kilowatt hour for electricity from the charger and the idle fee. Pull the charging cable out and plug it into your car like the instructions say. It's much easier if it's your car has a charging port at the back left like my MG4 and Tesla's do. Then once you've got it plugged in, what do you do next? Hmm. Well, some people will go back to the screen, which is what I would do, and follow the instructions there. But what if people don't pay attention, which is quite common? What they might do instead is look at this great big sign that says scan for instructions to charge a non-Tesla. Unfortunately, Tesla hasn't updated that website to say that some locations are tap and pay enabled. If you do pay attention to the screen, like my friend Bo, this is what happens. It updates to show you the status along the way while charging and afterwards, and it should be able to show us QR code to scan for a receipt, but so far that hasn't worked. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and sharing my videos. It really helps me make more videos like this for you. And have a look at the suggested videos up above. I'm pretty sure you'll like those as well. Thanks and see you later.